Uh, today's the day we start uh, cutting out uh, the fat sources completely. So that's including the butter and uh, <coughs> the eggs in the morning. And what we're going to do is we're going to place it with egg whites. So what I do is trying to hit about 35 36 grams of protein just like we did with the six eggs so what I do is I fill up one of my protein cups and I fill it up to about 10 ounces because if you do the calculations it's five grams for every 46 grams so five goes into 35 seven times multiply 46 by seven and you'll get 10 ounces so We'll be doing that this week, and for carb sources, probably just gonna go with oatmeal. This is when it starts getting real. So what breakfast is looking like now is egg whites, and I put some grilled mates barbecue seasoning on there, makes it taste a million times better. For oatmeal, I add in cinnamon, which is actually a natural thermogenic for the body, most people don't know that, what cinnamon will actually do, so it'll increase your metabolism. Uh, I'm not going back on what I said, I'm not taking thermogenics, I'm not taking thermogenic supplements, no fat burners. This is a spice. It has thermogenic properties, but it's not a thermogenic supplement. So adding that into the uh, oatmeal, and yes I am taking, uh, eating plain oatmeal, straight up plain. Just a little, like, foot and a half tall two jug thing that you see at the store just plain oatmeal quick oats and also with the cinnamon I add in Trudia it's a type of natural sweetener that's from uh, <coughs> the stevia stevia plant which produces actually a natural sweetener that is uh, calorie free and carb free the, it's called erythritol I think that's how you pronounce it but it's a natural sweetener that's from that plant that uh, go after it's gone through a fermentation process. <coughs> Sorry, I've still got this cough. It's pissing me off. But yeah, the cinnamon and the truvia are for uh, taste, for flavor, because otherwise I would gag on the oatmeal. Surprisingly enough, some people can actually just eat it straight up. Just plain. No cinnamon, no truvia, no nothing on it. So, I don't know how. But this is breakfast now. We're gonna be eating this for the next two weeks. Dig in. All right, guys, we are doing that back workout that we had to miss and do hit training instead that one day. To start it off, we're gonna be doing some bent over rows. And please forgive my form and my uh, short of breath in this set. This is after I finished. I'm just doing this to show you guys what exactly it is we're trying to do. We are doing four sets of 12 on this. And if you have to stop, stop it again for two breaths, just like we do for the cardio acceleration, and get right back into it. As much as you can, pull the bar up to your chest. Don't just go to your knees like I am right now. Again, I'm tired as hell. Four sets of 12. Next up is going to be close grip cable rows. <clears throat> now, we've done this before. You kind of know what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be squeezing it when you pull the grips in towards your chest. And you can see I keep my elbows in nice and tight. I don't let them go out to the side. This is to work more, a little bit more on my lats in the middle back. And also I'm sticking my chest up, kind of like, you know, say it with your chest. That's what you want to be. <laughs> That's what you want to be imagining when you're doing this, this exercise here. We're doing four sets of 16 reps. And we are also doing the cardio acceleration. I'm just not going to be including those as much just because you guys kind of got the idea of what you're supposed to do for for cardio acceleration and when you're supposed to do them, how long you're supposed to do them, how you're supposed to do them and whatnot. So we are doing them, but we're just not including them in the videos. I will tell you when we're not doing them though. The third exercise we are doing is going to be kind of a variation of a dumbbell row. And if, you t if your gym doesn't have this machine, you can do that instead. I forget what the name of this machine is, but we're doing four sets of 16 on it. The point is supposed to work more your upper back. And now we are doing some lat pull downs, just regular lat pull downs, wide grip, as close to your chest as you can possibly get it. Again, this is about towards the end of the exercise, last set, or after the last set that I'm doing this, so form is kind of shitty right now. For this, we're doing another four sets of 16. You're trying to pull the bar as close to your chest as you can, 
control the weight, use your lats to pull it down. This is an exercise that's typically used to widen out the lats. And for the last exercise, it's going to be standing calf raises. We're doing four sets of 25 repetitions. Now, I love this exercise more than any other for calves just because I get a much better feel for it. And also, it works the part of the calf that is kind of underdeveloped for me, personally. But, again, this is not a muscle building program, so it's not going to make any gains. This is just to make it as intense as possible. And that's the reason I'm doing this, because it's more intense than any other exercise for me. Four sets of 25, you're going... Quickly up, squeezing at the top, then you come down slow, making it burn as much as you can. After that, that is the end of the workout, guys. I will see you tomorrow.